Alrighty, folks. Welcome on back to Cyber Knight's Flashpoint. Uh, as you can probably tell, I am fighting off. Basically, it's, I'm pretty sure it's just a head cold, but my nose is halfway stuffed up and stuff like that. So I think I'm only going to do or try to do three episodes this week. We'll see how things go. But uh, but yeah, so we've got a, a recruit coming up in a couple days. Got a legwork return a couple hours after that, and then uh, the loophole heist that I wanted uh, Zasha back for so that we can take her with us if we want. But let's see what this uh, recruit is. Or we can get a... Sure. Yeah. Gather the team. The news streams are blowing us up. This affects us all. The whole dome. What is it? Whoa, that looks big. The UNA, New Boston, and the five megacorps who run the dome have ratified a change to the city's charter to add a new megacorp. Whoa. The massive German conglomerate Warner Braun Global is coming to town. They've been working on that for years, haven't they? I never thought it would really happen. Matsumoto sponsored their entry into the dome's economic zone. It's all for their own gain. You know, Matz is just using them as a way to harm Ultratech's market shares. The report the UNA has published actually has details. It's not a blaze piece by some marketing pod. Every shareholder in every megacorp is going to be uneasy about this one. Do they think a rare moment of transparency from our government will calm them? A megacorp moving to a to a new charter city? That operation must be massive. They will have to carve out some part of downtown district as their sovereign territory and bring over their own citizens and their own military army. They'll only trust new Boston-based security companies as long as they have to. Gives me chills thinking about it. They're going to be so exposed during the transition period. They'll have to rely on local blue card labor and local milesec. Oh, milsec. Anyone gunning for them is going to have an easy time slipping a barb between their bills for a while. Chills indeed. If I'm reading this right, in the first month, Warner Braun Global can only bring 42 high-ranking citizens and 1,000 strong security forces into the UNA. Looks like it goes up quickly, but there's some dangerous quotas. I would not want to be in that little Warner Braun Global island of 42. It shows how valuable tapping into a new city's charter and economic zone is for a megacorp. Warner Braun, I want to say Warner Braun, Warner Braun Global only operates in 12 zones, including New Berlin, the London Underground, Neo Prague, Algiers, Algiers, and Swiss Financial Enclave. But they're tapping into the first dome in the UNA. You can't even put a value on that. Warner Braun is spending billions and multiple years to make this happen. Their shareholders are going to be eagerly expecting returns. They're going to flood the biotech market in a good way. Biotech and everything medical, but they're going to tempt the milsec and corporate militaries with new offerings too. Every megacorp makes everything. They'll compete with they'll compete most with Ultratech head to head. And with Matsumoto second. Looks like they're all they're also obligated to take over 30% of the clinics that Ultratech runs for the city services. That thankless work privatized medical services for gray card holders. Huh. <laughs> that might be the only thing Ultratech is happy about in the entire deal. They must have paid off everyone from here to the top of the dome to make it happen. Looking over this high level report, yes, they did. Warner Braun Global is obligated to buy a ton of property from other megacorps. Who will sell them only the crappiest spots? And Warner Braun must join the UNA in three major joint venture research projects. Who are sure to leak their secrets to the highest bidder. And they will foot the bill for the construction of Ward 11. You're kidding. Oh, they got played. That's a big bribe. It means they're staying at any cost. With a price tag like this, getting a foot in the door in the city's charter is something they can't afford to flop. 
They're going to fight tooth and claw to make their space in New Boston, whatever it takes. We might want to meet with some of the power players at Warner Braun. They're going to need a Cyber Knight. Ooh. We need to get someone sniffing around the Warner Braun Global Enclave to see if we can quietly get in touch with someone. Looks like it's Blur. Looks like Blur is the only one going. 11 days, 12 hours. Three temps, guaranteed success. But a failure adds the entire duration again. Okay. We need to get someone sniffing around the Warner Braun, Warner Braun Global Enclave to see if we can quietly get in touch with someone. It won't be an easy one. The sharks are going to be circling the Warner Braun people, just waiting for the frenzy to begin. I'll be as decisive... I'll be as decisive if I see an opportunity. They're going to need help. The kind of help we can provide. And considering what Warner Braun has paid to put a foot in New Boston, they're going to keep paying well. Alright, enough already. Another Megacorp, another day. The arrival of Warner Braun Global is sure to stir up some new angles for work. We can all keep our ears open in our little corner of the underground. We have entered the Treaty of 31 era. An era is caused by a major event with, within New Boston that will affect your network of underground contacts, job offers, markets, and open up new stories and opportunities. Eras usually last a while, at least a few months. The Treaty of 31 era means that there are powerful Warner Braun Global contacts coming to town, but also that everyone around them is looking to take advantage of the new arrival. Okay. We still only have that one mission that we know of, though. So, uh, I guess we keep going. I'm sorry to bring Zasha back to you this way, but at least she's still in one piece. Dang. You look worse than you should for a week in the muck, Zasha. It got ugly, but I got better, but I got the better end of it. Three of them are rotting alongside Diego Hamazaki's smuggling route. Corpse removal isn't a priority. Anyway, the dead are a reminder of what they get for messing with my roots. We haven't seen them since. Any clues on who our mystery enemy is? Maybe it's a competitor trying to shut down my game, but no, nothing concrete. I owe you one, Lemon. Let, uh, let me know when you want to call in that favor. Nice. Noted. You'll be hearing from us. And you, Zasha, you're welcome back anytime. I know my runners will miss you. Oh, yeah? I'll miss the slop down there. Remember the bonus for your team we talked about. Aye, Chapa. Mutual respect has grown between the two. Nice. Zasha has suffered some occupational injuries in protecting the gunrunners and will need medical leave. That's fine. So, I couldn't figure out last time how to get that recruit. Um, every time I tried, unless she just shows up. Nope. Uh, every time I tried, it would tell me I had to wait for it to be done, which kind of sucks. But, all right, cool. So everyone currently is going to be back before that, that heist. So let's, let's uh, keep going real quick. I know we've been looking for ways to cut an extra profit. I've been working on a job we could pull off ourselves. With Warner Braun Global coming to New Boston in waves, they're setting up new corporate sites all over the city. They're still prepare, or, uh, prepping, so the sites aren't fully secured or staffed yet. I've been watching a new Warner Braun Global nanofab site coming together and getting stocked up. Given your skill set, that sounds like an interesting start, Iron. I've got all the details right here to review. Looks like we can make a haul if we hit it hard enough. We can prep, plan, and deploy for the cube run. 
Okay. Cube run. That sounds interesting. Let's go take a look at this. We've got 25 days left on it. Requires a Cyber Knight. Requires iron. Everything's optional. So, I haven't had any luck knowing when reinforcements are going to come. Because they don't always come every term once you've once you've talked with the... Or once the sec AI has, has, has come high enough. Um, so, how come I have two of these, but I can't choose the second one? None of my clicks or anything are working to... Oh, here we go. Nanofab East. Engineering well level. And this one is... Elgrid Field. Access it via the power plant. Which has been compromised in advance. I think we're going to go in with 1A. I might take this because having the ability to restart... Uh, the the camera system sounds really really useful. Uh, let's do it with money. Okay, so we're gonna go in one A, but first I would like to. I love how this doesn't zoom all the way back out. I still find that absolutely hilarious. Uh, first I would like to. Click on everything 16 million times. Wait, when did we get more training? Huh. Okay. Alright, so... This is Lemon, our Cyber Knight. This is the teammate buff... This one is negative six initiative and cancels an overwatch. Buff yourself and teammates with plus two action points. That's actually not bad. When scoring a crit, debuff target and nearby enemies. So we need an Argraph to get further up in here or a Cyberheart to get further over here. Disentangle is debuff a drone. Drone. Okay, that's why we hadn't started going that way. Evasion and cover bonus. Is that five more items carried? Two turns. Okay, so I think we're going to keep going this way. The question... I was just trying to move the... Add multi-class. Ha! Huh? Okay. He's currently a... He's currently straight up a Cyber Knight. I don't think we have a sniper yet. Huh. Oh, we have an R-Graph. We just don't have the second, second level of it? Okay, well, what do we want to do? Do we want to do... I think I'm going to go with the interference spike. At minimum to just get it. Scoring a critical hit, debuff target nearby enemies within six meters with 10% of evasion and negative two initiative. Cancels Overwatch. Hmm. 
Wait, does that, does that say point zero one? Jeez. All right, I think we're going to get this. And then do we want recharge time reduction? Do we want an AOE? Or do we want a little bit more will? Apparently, I can... Oh, I have one spent unspent point, but I can do two more talents, which I think are these, right? Four out of six, one, two, three. Yeah, those are those. I think we take the AOE here. That negative six initiative could be extremely helpful. Okay. Vanguard. I use her sword a lot. At the same time, getting more dang. Uh, getting more stealth would be nice. Lure, overdrive. Uh, on, on the same side, we could go to Cyber Sword. Which would give us, like, the slash slide. Ha <sighs> ha Wow. No sound while moving up to 3 AP. Sprinting speed. No recoil. This one's conduit edge. When a melee attack kills a target. Wow. I... I really want whisper kill. On her. That's kind of how I play Iron currently anyway. Is the stealthy go in and slash. Alright. So I think we're going to train Cyber Sword. So now how do I. Ha 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 ha. You just switch back and forth. The only problem is that I have to activate. Or I have to at least train. Slash slide, but I can get to whisper kill. I have three unspent points that would get me all the way there. Charge up to five meters in a straight line, melee attacking any enemy without generating recoil or triggering overwatch. Two AP. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take the strength. And we'll take whisper kill. So, now, can I remove slash slide so that it's not taking up a limit? I really don't want to click respec. Now, I know on Vanguard we could take out, like, Lure or Jam Kit. I like Anticipation, though, and I really like Silence. All right, we'll see if we can't up their talent limit later. Hacker. I'm, I think I'm just going to... Well... Requires Chameleon Sheath. I could make him a Sniper. I don't usually like to have him up front anyway. So maybe... Maybe that's what we do. Debuff an enemy. Repair connection. Item carry. Matrix. 
Oh, that cancels the body timer. Oh. Five turn cooldown? But I can do it in a... What is that? 18 meter radius? That would give me a second. And then make it free. Whoo boy. <laughs> I think... I think we're going to hold off for now. Plus one will and win hacking game... 5% all matrix damage. That's nice. And then I want this faked vitals. This is going to be useful. Very useful, I think. That was what uh, Trees Brothers commented on what was it, two episodes ago from when this releases? Because you guys haven't seen the one that releases tomorrow. Yeah, it was the one that released on Friday the, the 16th. All right, I'm probably just going to leave him, soldier. Blast radius. Savagery. When killing a target, gain crit and ballistic for the remainder of the turn. For full auto weapons, rapidly reload your current weapon for only 2 AP. I thought it only took 2 AP to reload anyway. So we got Overwatch. Gives us a third. Gives us extra damage. Wait time reduction. And extra damage. Okay. What do we got here? Oh, this is the recoil recovery. 17. Wow, that, that can take off a lot. That can take off a lot of recoil. Crit vulnerability within five. So let's grab this. I think we're going to grab this, too. I can't. That took two points. Oh, that's what that two means. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Now, the question is... Do we want any new weapons or... So I can take four on this? One, two, three. Currently, that would be everybody. That'd be fine. We can do that. So we've got a silenced pistol. We've got a silenced pistol. We've got a silenced pistol. And we have a really loud pistol. All right, we don't have any. All right, you know what? Let's just go in here. I, I kind of know what everybody's using. It's ammo size. Stealth crit. Oh, that's a sniper. Never mind. The E-Cutter. Is the E-Cutter better than our current sword? Uh, yes and no. That gives us more armor shred. A little bit less damage, but more pure damage. That's a lot of damage reduction. Ammo side. That's that charged. Oh. Oh, the E cutter has armor sh armor cutter. Target shreds armor. Where charged is 100% or 100 points of pure damage. But otherwise, they're 
basically the same. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna keep that then. Uh he's got a slugger. So what else do we have? Mauler does less damage, but more armor shred. We could go with a defensor, which does more damage. And we could put a silencer on. That would give everybody a silencer. That's that's actually not a bad idea. Let's let's do that real quick. So, Mr. Mr. Cyber Knight. We're gonna give you a defensor. And I don't have any extra silencers. So who has a silencer that we don't need? What? One pistol silencer, two pistol silencer, three pistol silencer. Uh, where's our last, who's got our last silencer? I bet it's on this one. Nope. Oh, we'd lose our armor shred. I didn't even think about that. We lose our pure damage. So actually the slugger is much better. The only problem is it can't do ammo suppressor or silencer. Okay. That's fine. Let's give you your slugger back. You at least have the the blade. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm doing all right. <laughs> oh. All right. What do we got here? Pistol mod. Extra accuracy. Less recoil. It might not be a bad idea. The reflex sights for a rifle. Can I filter to... Ha ha ha. Let's go with a blade, first of all. Uh, and we actually wanted mods. For... Oh, that's... Hey! Pistol, AR, sniper... Oh, here we go. Blade bat. Ah. Uh, okay. Bonus damage. Stealth crit bonus damage. Armor shred's nice. Accuracy would be nice. Ammo size and damage. We've got what? Two swords? I got 300k. Man. All right, we're currently wearing this. So that's got a movement speed penalty and an initiative penalty, but has much better armor. The flex suit has better ballistic and kinetic protection. Or is that shred protection? Man, these are expensive. But having having these on and maybe one of these would be really nice. Having four of these would be fantastic. All right. I think we're going to go back to mods, though. We're going to get... Yeah, shoot. We've got two swords. We've got two swords. 
I guess I don't have to escape out of there, do I? Hey. There we go. Alright, so I actually want... I really kind of want this. But we don't crit very much currently. So let's get two... Two X heavy grips. And then... Let's get two the keen splitters. All right, and then we want. Let's see if we can't get. Whoa. Ten plus ten damage, plus ten crit. Extra recall. I'm betting this thing's really loud. Oh, yeah. It's a barrel. Uh, I'm going to get one of them then. Because we uh, we can't put a silencer on that, on that pistol anyway. Firing arc adjustment. Adjust the angle and degrees this weapon can cover with overwatch. So is that less or more? Negative minimum opti optimal range. Which is good? Or do we want to just straight up go for 4% accuracy and have to be a little further away? I know I'm doing this. One, two, three, four. I think we do four of these as well. Okay, well, now that we've, you know, spent the vast majority of our money. <laughs> okay, now... I wonder what it was before. Does it stay on the weapon? It does stay on the weapon. Okay. So we got 70% accuracy. Yeah, we did we got a little bit more damage. Max range is 25. I, I know it's noisy as I'll get out. 30% arc. So we want the keen splitter and the heavy grip here to give you 8% more shred and more, more damage on your ammo. Cool. All right. I want to come in here. So we've got, with the silencer, it makes no noise. 70% accuracy, no shred, 25, 45, 71, yeah. And this should put us at 75. Still 25. Still 45. Oh, did that go up? I think that went up. No, it didn't. I think this might have gone up, though. We can check that in a second on our hacker over here. Yeah, so 4 to 18 is the optimal range. When you put on the... You put on this, it does, it does increase. 6 meters is uh, a lot further away than I think it is going to be, I think. That's all right. This should allow us to... Whoops. Should I mod his AR as well? Alright, we got grenade, first aid kit. There's a shock mine and another grenade. What else do we have? Oh, hello. I don't think I've ever even been in here to see what's here. 
buff yourself with jeez I'm probably going to end up calling this episode something like prep or something silly and silly immediately patch one armor heal yourself with evasion initiative and move points heal 30 HP immediately and at the end of the current turn and for the next three turns Ooh. Smoke grenade would be nice. We already know what the shock mine. We have seven shock mines. Uh, Dazzler. Oh, we stun an enemy until the end of next turn. Ooh. Cram shot is evasion less recoil gen. Oh, hey, look at that. Just straight up body is gone. Wow. Can I buy more bio recyclers? Items. Not currently, no. Doesn't mean that we can't buy them in the future. Just means not currently. All right, so, whoops, I didn't mean to say purchase. This one's way better. I need to remember to upgrade this when we can. All right. So next time, I think we may do this message and then go out on cube run. Uh, however, until then, I hope you folks enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and checking out some of my other content. And as always, we'll catch you folks in the next episode. Stay frosty out there.